Hey, what's up, everybody? All right. We're going to be taking Blitz Challenges 5 plus 5. Slightly unusual time control, I think. But best for streaming is to have a 5 second increment. And enough time to um, talk about the games just a little bit. Um, not not as much as, as Rapid, but... Sorry, I'm not... I'm not a chess WIM. I'm just M M I M. More and more dubious people streaming these days. All right, so um, we've got challenges from Sun Prism, Discombobulatorix, Correct Time Control, Sense Take. What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Sorry to hear that, Arse. We learn from our losses, hopefully. All right. Um, but I'm, I'm good. Right, let's take this challenges, this challenges from subscribers and actually anybody, anybody with a hundred games or more. <clears throat> All right. What happened to the Carol Khan? I don't understand. I was all I was all excited to see a Carol Khan. And there's no Carol Khan on the board. What the heck, bro? Yeah, I'm 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 experimenting with my repertoire with white a little bit. Trying some, some different stuff out rather than going for open games all the time. The um Four Knights, offbeat lines of the Four Knights with white. Discombobulator X. Okay, D5. Whoa. Yeah, that's okay. So it's like a scotch in reverse. Actually, Sun Prism plays the scotch with white, so he's he's playing like he's white with black, which makes some sense. But I play this line uh, with reverse colors as well. That tempo should make a pretty big difference in the open position. Jesus Christ, dude. You have to be hitting me. Get out of here, bro. You have nothing to offer me. It's pathetic. Alright. Pathetic. Pathetic, dude. Bishop c5, it's like an English. If you put the C pawn on E2, it's in English. Do you play that line as well? If I just move this pawn over here. Um, well, we can't think too much. Bishop C5. It controls d4. This doesn't. But maybe he has no choice. That's what oftentimes happens in the in the scotch, the four knight scotch. You can't keep the tension, so you have to make this exchange. This is a this is a four knights. Um. Make the exchange. I'd like to play D3 or D4. D3. Rookie 1 leaves uh, F2 weak. Huh. I don't know. How much does my extra tempo really matter here? That's... That's the interesting thing, right? You'd think that extra tempo in an open position would actually make a big difference. Um, started as Vienna, became four knights, and then we played. 
we played the G3, which is what? That's like the Glack variation? Or am I confusing confusing things? So bishop f5. Um, bishop f5. Mm, I don't know. Okay, b7 is weak. Blitz game, don't overthink it, I guess. I'm playing like Astrobate. Astrobate's favorite move. Our oh, Brenton is gifting tier one sub of the community. To wow, to Toth Kincho. So nice job. You gifted a you you gifted a, a gift sub to one of our Hungarian friends. She's a Hungarian player. Tothkicho. Yeah, good analysis last night. Glaring weakness. Well, yeah, and I thought, like, the other game... What was it I was hearing about recently? I have to wake up and think. Very principled play here by Black in this game. Power, oh, oh, there was a quote about Marcel Duchamp or something. They were talking about Marcel Duchamp, who was a chess player, a strong chess player, you know, pretty strong chess player, and, uh, and obviously a world-renowned artist. But they are thinking, who was it I was thinking about? Was it him? Talking about the power of self, uh, who else? Was it Duchamp or someone else? Oh no, I guess I'm getting things confused. All right, but anyway. Um, Self-reflection, Arsenal fan. It actually wasn't related to Duchamp. It was it was someone else, but not just self-reflection. Um, looking inward, you know. Looking inwards. I can't think of the word now. Wow, this is a really strong um, performance here by Sun Prism. He's so principled in this game. Frustrating to play against this solid, solid principled opponent. Yeah, but Arsenal, I feel like your, you know, your mood varies like widely. It may not be your opponent; it may be you. You know, like one day. You know, you're a little bit like me in that respect, I think. You're very volatile emotionally. And so, you know, one day it might be different than another. Um, you might react differently on a given day than you would react to the same thing on, a, you know, on another day, um, depending on, on your mood. I'm not saying you're crazy. He's crazy. But you might have bipolar. I think I do. All right? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a licensed psychiatrist, you know, or psychologist. So I can only speculate about myself and everyone else. Damn, dude, this is very principal play by by Black here. Really like the way he's playing this. Jesus Christ! You're pissing me off, dude. Perfect game by Black. Well, no, I mean, yeah, of course you... Well, you don't. Look at Jababa. He's nuttier than anybody. And he managed to become, like, 2,700. 
but he's like totally emotion emotionally unstable. He'd probably be freaking world champion if he wasn't so emotionally unstable, but yeah, I'm, uh, you can still make master level even if you're nuttier than, you know, than the squirrel's girlfriend or whatever. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily help, you know. I wouldn't say, like, you becoming a master is dependent on absolute emotional stability, but, dude, I totally understand where you're coming from. If you start to get annoyed by something during the game, for example, your opponent ostensibly playing for a draw or whatever, um, you know, whatever, you let it distract you from the task at hand, you let it distract you from focusing on just playing the best moves or whatever, it can be anything, you know. The dude, you know, eating crackers at the board next to you or something. You're not focusing on what you're supposed to be focusing on, which is just like playing the best moves and winning the game. Like Mr. Spock. No relation between Arsenal fan and Mr. Spock. Um, but with me, like, it depends on, you know, how tired I am. Being tired is a big is a big problem because with me it makes me more reckless, uh, less calculating, more likely to be emotionally like disturbed. God, I got nothing in this game. Really nice game by Black. Maybe some weed. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I loved weed until until one point where I got like anxiety disorder. And then it started like triggering it. Um but for a lot of people, it can be good. I don't know. I'm not going to, like... I'm not going to... I guess it's different for everyone. I'm not going to recommend people using weed. For me, I haven't in a long time. And when I did, it definitely didn't help my over-the-board play. This has been a great game by Black, by the way. He played, like, a virtually perfect game. <clears throat> You're not intending to play like Queen A4, are you? I don't know if my king is better on G1 or on G2. Queen C6. Eyeing the C5 square, ostensibly. Now we're okay. But I was suddenly worse, like, the whole game. Like, pretty much the whole game. Bigger is better. Damn it. I don't know what to do. You made me, like, abandon my plan. Ostensibly.
Rook on e3, we have a sun prism rook. Would not trade queens, of course not. This is sun prism's Achilles heel. This is how he lost um, the game against Lafong that he submitted to the stream recently. You know, kind of shutting down and playing for a draw when he needed to continue to be active. But this is better. Yeah. Very similar to the game with Lafong. for the wrong break. C5 or A5. Uh-huh. I'm a magician, I can make your pawns disappear. <laughs> Not funny, huh? Wanna see a trick? I wonder if this is still a draw. Looks tough. I'm notoriously bad at rook endings. Yeah, he just totally collapsed. But there's a lot of similarity with the, the game we looked at yesterday. And your play in general, you know. Obviously the rooking games is the not rooking games specifically, but in games in general is your is your problem. But not just that. The other problem is clamming up and playing too conservatively when it starts to approach like a more simplified position. So it's almost like when you get to the end game you start to play passively, where in the rest of the game you don't, because you don't have confidence in your end game. You lost this game like from move thirty five onward. You had a really good position until when you traded queens, you like gave up everything, and then only white can play for a win. Discombobulatorix. Arsenal fan Schumacher Morales is here. Yeah, but I mean, I had literally the worst position probably until like move 30 or something. He handled the opening really well. I am playing some Karo Khans myself. Speaking of the Karo Khan, yeah, this is the problem. Well, studying the games of players that do what you don't do well, do well, you know, or players like who are really good at the things you're not doing well, is probably what you should do. Players who are good at 
end games, um, transitioning from middle games to end games, things like that. <clears throat> Top, you know, players, not necessarily modern players, whatever, you know. Master games, players who specifically are good at that. Yeah, bishop g5, okay. Um, I don't know what to do after bishop g5. It's an older line. I'm not falling for the deadly traps. What deadly traps? I've never played any deadly traps. But this is a little disturbing. This is your life on drugs. All right, so I'm, I'm screwed up already. I guess I had no choice but to play that, huh? What if I take and play queen a5 check? Doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense with, uh... This doesn't make a lot of sense with, with a6. So I messed this up pretty badly. Queen a5 check and a6 I think are just... I mean, I'm supposed to play like queen b6, but I just don't know the line. And it's some kind of like complicated draw or something. Like, I don't know. Yeah. So e6. Complicated draws. Queen a5 is always wrong. I mean, it is usually wrong. Should be our... I know that's my joke, that queen a5 was always wrong. But the catch phrase should be, it's usually wrong. It's almost always wrong, something like that. There are cases in this Carol Khan where queen a5 is good, but it's almost only when black has like queen a6 available. My idea here was if he plays bishop d2 or something, I can play. Well, actually, bishop d2 is not dangerous. I don't know what my idea was. I just needed the tempo to get out of the pin. Um, so c5 is interesting. <sighs> this isn't right. I mean, I have queen b5. Then yes, possibly c4. So I don't like black's position here at all. Another bad opening. I forgot you played e5. It's wrong 9 out of 10 times, right. Yeah, it's the 10th time that gets you. This actually... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, my queen here is just not appropriate. No. Queen b5, c4. I'm, I'm really far behind in development here, and opening the c file doesn't look great. This is questionable. I'm hoping to keep the position closed. But I don't think I really can hold it. You know, I, I don't. my instinct is not to do this, but my instinct is that my position is already bad. I already have serious trouble, no matter what I do here. Not just instinct, I mean... Fact. Black's position is bad. Or worse, um, no matter what I do. Yeah, it can always be worse, Arsenal fan. <laughs> Almost any scenario can be worse. You know, that's, see, that's a very optimistic way of looking at it. Yeah, I just, you know, oddly, no one ever plays bishop g5 because it's like out of fashion. Pretty much it's like completely not seen anymore. Because it's all been analyzed to death and, and players with white decided like there was nothing there if you know like 25 moves of theory. And so I never get anyone playing that against me.
I don't know if I've ever had anyone play bishop g5. I've also played another other moves. I should have played a6, you know, like straight out of the gate or something. h4, a6 is interesting. It's kind of what I meant to do, I would say. He played knight b1, defending c3. Wow, that's extreme. That's kind of extreme. Wow, he's gone. He's gone off the radar. Where is it? I don't see it. It's off the radar. Knight b1. That's just insane. Now you have to take with the queen. I hope you're aware of that. Ah. Okay, so now if he gets in like c4 or something, a4, c4, I'm in big trouble. Oops, I dropped another pawn. Did I? Maybe I did. Shit. Drop my b7 pawn. No, seriously. He doesn't believe me. I think I did. Oh, man. All right. B5. B5, A4, Knight B6. Pawn takes B5. Queen takes A1. Pawn takes C6. I don't know, man. I mean, it's maybe possible he could have taken... I have Knight B6. If queen takes b7, knight b6. And I have... All I know is I think I have a draw. I probably have perpetual on this queen there. At least a draw. Yeah, that's what I thought it was a draw. Well, it is attackable, but knight d8... Yeah, no, it's not attackable. That's true, I thought I had knight d8. What do I do now? There's another weird possibility, bishop d2. I, I promise not to play the Karo Khan again. There's this huge uptick in people playing the Karo Khan. I mentioned it yesterday. But I'm trying to figure out why. It's. Does anyone know the specific reason why there's so many people playing the Karo Khan? That's that's a nice. I'm talking about like not like tournament players even, just uh just random people online. Everyone plays the Karo Khan every other game. Is that Eric Rosen? I mean, who plays the Karo Khan among these? Oh, yeah, Gotham Chess. Someone said Gotham Chess. I know nothing about that guy other than he, like, annoys the shit out of me. Also not sure how he got the item title, but whatever. There's a lot of dubious title players out there. He won't be the first. Um, you know, you'd assume there's a lot of people who recommend these repertoires exactly. Slav, London, Karo Khan. I mean, I've always played the Karo Khan since the 80s, but I was never happy with it. But I think, like, the Bishop F6, the Knight F6 Karo is really good, and it it really puts a dent in the main line. So White pretty much has to play the advanced variation. Maybe some very prepared players can get something in, in that main line Karo with, with Knight F6, but not easy to do. Um, I'm going to take this guy. And I like my knights. This is a quality game by White, though. Quality game. I've got to get my queen back. 
Maybe that's... Well, there's not that many squares to go to. Yeah, he can't play c4. He can sack the exchange. It's sort of dubious. I can even castle. Slow death for white here. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay, I don't blame you for sacking the exchange. But um, I don't think it's going to be enough. As long as I can get my king out of the center, I'm winning. Queen a6, knight takes d4. Crushing his center. Anyway, I have knight takes d4. Yeah, but it's lost. Another game, similar theme as the last one. He had a good position. Lost his way. Which is funny, because like, generally in tournament play, it seems like I'm the opposite. Like I, I do okay in the openings, but I get like screwed later. Or I misplay the game later. That's the problem with playing stronger players. I have very different results against stronger players than weaker players. The stronger players outplay me in the middle game, end game. And it's the opposite when I'm playing lower rated players. Okay, uh, just to show the opening here, you know, how bad I screwed it up. Yeah, I mean, it's like insane. It's insane. Like, black's only move is queen b6. Okay. Frankly, I was wondering about, like, alternatives. F6, okay. Okay, okay. So queen a5 check is a move. Knight h6 is a move. F6 is a move. Queen d7 is a move. I was thinking of queen c8. Hasn't been played. It's probably not great. But queen b6 is the only good move. And now let's see. Bishop d3. Oh, I forgot about this line. I'm supposed to take on d4, of course. Oh, man. So I have faced this before, but it was a long time ago. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is okay for black. It's, it's, I have had this. Okay, Arsenal fan? No, that's known. That's a known variation, and people still try to play it sometimes. So queen b6 is, is just good for black. And and that's why no one plays bishop g5 anymore. But I try to never play queen b6. In that position, you have to. I'm first. I go first or you. All right. What do I got? Karo Khan? e4, e5. Oh, nice. No, I think you had a good position, Apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. I played my Saiji Gambit against you, didn't I? With G4. Last time. Yeah, I don't like to play the same surprise twice in a row. He's probably prepared for G4. It's not as good against as against the Philidor, though. Against the Philidor, it's devastating. Honestly. Just devastating against the open Philidor. Like, game over, man. Uh, okay. So what am I going to play here? Like, <clears throat> D3? Hello? Hello? Oh, it's good to see you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We had a subscriber already. We had a gift sub as well. You guys are up to $366. 366 $300.66. Um, I need to raise like $2,000 for the summer. Late spring summer tournament series. Okay, so Bishop E6. 
Okay, okay. I played this move um, last week in a game, but it seems like bishop e7 is better. I was just looking at the statistics and stuff. It, it felt like to me that bishop e7 was better um, in this line. But it's just an ob observation. Um, it's very different. I mean, if you're playing like bishop e3 or the English attack or whatever. I'm speaking specifically against the Opachansky variation. This, everything is called the Opachansky variation. Now, h5, which apocalyptic dis distributor will be familiar with. Um, again, I don't like h5 against bishop e2 so much. I feel that it goes over the top a bit, a bit. It's an idea, but it, you know, I'm not really going to do g4. Most likely. So the question is f4 or bishop g5 or king h1? King h1? Eh. Bishop e3 is the only thing that this move really feels like it might restrict a little bit. Well, I gotta, I gotta play more quickly here. Um, f4, queen b6, check king h1. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Calling your bluff. Coffee house, queen b6, check knight g4, I mean. Okay. Bring it on, bro. I don't think that works. H5 is dubious. So he's playing the um, the immediate knight g4. Very principled. Taking lessons with acerbate. Okay. I lose games because people are idling their cars outside. Oh my god. So how could I miss queen h4? Unbelievable. I literally missed queen h4. Wow. Dude, that's insane. You're such a cheap artist. Wow. All right. I got to give you the exchange. Wow. Damn, dude. That's freaking unbelievable. You seriously play like this on a regular basis? You are a sick individual. Wait a minute. Take, take, check. What is going on here? Psychopath. Tilt much? Principled. Yeah, I, I mean, I miss every movie as. I miss Queen H4. I'm expecting the Queen to come from the other side. I miss Queen H4. Okay, it's morning. Rook H1 check? Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. I made it? That's nice, dude. 
damn, the ultimate, like, cheapo artist. He actually mated me here. Whew, bro, nice game. Who has ever seen this happen in a Nidorf? That's unbelievable. Jesus Christ. Are you serious? You know what I wanted to notice about when I wanted to note about Arsenal fan? Dude, check out how many games he has. 13,000 bullet games. 16,000 blitz games. 11,000 rapid games. Dude, how do you have time to play that many games? And puzzles. Wait. Puzzles? 10,000 puzzles as well. Jesus, dude. Where did you come up with this? To turn the, the Nidorf into a into a E4, E5 sort of fishing pole attack. I've never seen anyone do that before. Wow, that's, that's unbelievable, dude. Are you using the engine? Jesus Christ. Wow. Can't believe this. It's actually better for him. This is actually better for him after F4. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Totally unsound, but I found the worst possible continuation. Unlucky. F4 is actually the best move. You're such a coffee house scammer. I don't believe it. F4 is the best move. You play knight g4, and you swindle me. I took, just completely missed queen h4. For a normal master, I mean, they should see queen h4 immediately. I was so obsessed with queen b6 check, it was just like, okay, you're going to play queen b6. And now I'm almost lost. Surprisingly, I'm not lost. Well, okay. My original plan was to take here and trade queens. It's my only defense, but of course I second-guessed myself. That's embarrassing. The most embarrassing game I've lost in a long time. So thanks for defeating me with with Coffee House, you know, cheap 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 shot attack. I've gotta I've gotta improve my play against Coffee House attacking. F4 is the best move, I'm not afraid. Then he plays this Then G4 isn't even on the radar. It's not even a top five move. But this is the only way to lose by force, King H1. You know, I see Queen B6, I'm like, okay. I have to defend against the diagonal. I can't, you know, I can't interpose in the diagonal. So, obviously I could have played queen e1. This would have been the sensible thing to do. Man, that's brutal. God. Oh, Arsenal fan, I don't know what to do with you. Yeah, I mean, okay. You have very different modes of play, man. I mean, sometimes you play very solidly, and then other times you're like, like this. It's interesting. I don't know if it's like mood related, but anyway, you know, tactically you're you're very good now. Um, Rook H1 was particularly a strong move, which I overlooked, of course. All right. Embarrassing loss. <clears throat> No, I had to play queen e1. You know, then then queen b6 check, king h1, and I'm covering f2. If you play queen, if you play knight e3, I have queen f2, and you have to play like I don't know. No, you have to lose a piece there. So after queen e1, black doesn't have anything special. You know, I think it's very unprincipled. Rook h1 was a puzzle theme, the most classic of them all. Well, I hope that makes you feel better about your loss yesterday. 
to some clown. Um, all right. I'm here to be a human punching bag for frustrated chess players. King H1 is like the worst move ever. Jesus Christ. And the thing is, I saw Queen E1 holds. I mean, I lose a pawn, but still, the game isn't over. But then I'm like, oh no! I can take it! He doesn't have perpetual. You can't believe H5 is playable, and then you said you're not playing for cheapos. I'm going to play this even though I can't believe it's playable. But I think it's the best move. <laughs> of course it's a TN. No, it's extremely dubious. I don't like Bishop H... I don't like H5 in this type of position. You know? It's fine when you're restricting, like, White's G4 and you're castling opposite sides, but I wouldn't do that here. Oh! No, bishop g5 is the obvious move. I didn't want to play just the obvious move. And I also don't like giving up my dark square bishop for nothing. The way I played it is fine. I had a clear advantage, or a slight advantage. I mean, I, I wouldn't change the way I played it. f4 is like the best move. For white. I, I totally wouldn't change the way I played it, it's just that you have to be careful. You know, I wasn't careful. I didn't take it seriously enough and let my guard down, which is always my... That's it, man. The minute I let my guard down, I, I lose every time. The minute I become a little bit optimistic... Morales just consistently, like, continues to play d4 move. Speaking of TNs, knight b5 is a TN. Although not on, on Lee Chess. It's kind of like when I dropped the maid against Discombobulator last week. Or was it Monday? All right, we'll recirculate. That was the plan anyway, you know. Right. Yeah, once Michael Road did that to me. Where I was black and I tried to win the exchange or something and he just like crushes me with knight d5. But that's the problem with your position. You're 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 playing like Astrobate to a degree. Hey, what's up, Astrobate? I mean, you're going all in with the same piece twice, going knight g4, and of course your development is suffering as a result. So it's not surprising if some line pops up like that. I mean, h5 is extremely radical, you know, and I think it's played in some circumstances. But as I told you, like Ilinchich started doing it, like when when he started doing it, I told Discombobular. When he started doing it against Bishop E2, I was like, all right, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm not signing off on this, you know. I was like, you're going too far, you're like obsessed with playing H5. He lost some bad games where he did, he did, did H5 against Bishop E2, Nidorf. I was like, dude, come on now, this is ridiculous. You can play it against a lot of things. H3, Rook G1, Bishop E3, you know, F3 maybe, but not Bishop E2. I mean, this this is definitely gone too far. Um, Bishop E2 is like White's most solid variation. Literally. The one variation where I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend doing H5, like in general. So what's up, Nedog? If there's one variation in the night or where probably you shouldn't play h5, it's it's that.
pretty much against anything else, you could justify it. Okay, f4, maybe not. f4 or bishop e2, like those two. Yeah, I mean, having my bishop on e2 is, is good against your knight on g4. Definitely. <clears throat> yeah, Morales for an e4 player, he loves playing d4 positions. It's, it's the weirdest thing. Maybe he's just straight up, like, switch. Like, straight up switch to playing d4. Bishop c4. <laughs> It'd be funny to play that here. All right. Yeah, but he's like, his strong point is d4, not e5. <sighs> Sense snake, really. Why don't you submit it for a Thursday stream next week? Jesus Christ. Don't poke the bear. It might, you might as well, you know, <laughs> just like... Pull up the game and analyze it, man. We're not going to talk about it. Suspicious user monitoring. So he's playing the same-ish... Uh, oh, no, he's playing... Uh, He's playing a, um, hey, Arsenal, don't play h5 against bishop e2. And what does Saji do? But this is different. This is, uh, different. It's a king's Indian. Um... Kramer variation. That's the word I'm looking for. All right, dude. So, so we need to be more suspicious, right? So, what are you trying to do? Like, confirm my suspicions? The guy comes here to tell me he won the the weekly rapid. Well, that's surprising. He created another account so he could tell me that. Dude, I know you're cheating, so we don't need any like further evidence. Self-incrimination, free of charge. What tipped you off to the fact that I was cheating? But now he's like, he's probably like relishing the fact that, that Lee Chess hasn't caught him out for cheating yet. What happened to zero one one? He was so much nicer. Seriously. This one is really nasty. That says two minutes. Must work, unfortunately. <clears throat> I know the feeling. All right. Morales, expert D4 player. That's why he plays the French with black. To play D4. It's so weird. Apocalyptics, thanks for not thanks for not donating to a troll. We got a sub for Swift Breeze 4-3. 
don't worry. I didn't, um, I didn't, I don't bother, like, reporting people for cheating anymore. I, I retired from that. So don't blame me when your account gets banned. Don't, don't come for me or, or call my mom names and stuff. I don't know who that is. You gifted a tier one sub to, to a new viewer. Hopefully not a troll. Probably not. You seem not as unlucky as Arsenal fan. There are certain people who always donate to the to the trolls who like cheat and stuff, but I, I have the feeling the apocalypse is luckier. Yeah, you can choose when you give a sub, but you'd have to like specifically do it. If you don't specifically choose, then uh, uh, um, you know, then it's like randomly assigned to one of the viewers. This is so. This is, see, this is the problem with the Kings Indian in Blitz, dude. You can't play Kings in the end because it's too closed. F5. Wow. I'm really surprised. Are you surprised? I'm surprised. Right? The guy like brags about winning the the weekly rapid tournament when he's like blatantly a cheater. F5 is often a mistake, Arsenal fan. That's funny, Mr. Coffee. Gift a specific cheater. There was the guy who couldn't play a King of Pawn game to save his life and he was twenty six hundred in bullet. There's nothing suspicious about that. Good thing I've played so many games with Morales that I can predict his moves. Whew. One move tactic. How long was that there? That was not there until this last move. Yeah, I mean, F5 you shouldn't play if the other, other player is going to get a lock on E4 permanently. Then he just has to not do it. You know? But this is... This is inherently the problem with the Kramer. The, there's no break here for black. And your knight's on the awkward square. I have tons of games with, like, Schumacher where he tries to do that sort of thing. Well, I mean, I'm going to preempt this move. Like, if you do rook f8 or whatever, it's very subtle. I guess I'll play, like, Queen e2 or something. I'll preemptively defend, overprotect e4 and f2. But yeah, maybe. Maybe if f3 is double attacked, you have something. Let's see. Yeah, the position is slightly better, according to the engine, for black. Okay, why? Because it has more space. You know, he's on my fifth... He's on, on his fifth rank, on my fourth rank here, space-wise. space, space wise. But it's funny, the best move is f6. There's no time to play this kind of position, bro, with, with 5 plus 5. Now it's just going to be like random, you know, random moves while we we just play a whole bunch of random moves, clicking the mouse very, very fast. Um, all right, snet stake. Bishop is bad. Oh, dude, I know bishop's bad, but he's got so much space that it's offset. It's a typical situation. I don't know, you know. Yeah, it's a classic position. It's hard to say who's better here. Okay, Sensei. No, you're not going to get black again. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't wrong. You did like white's position when you had a knight on, on A3. 
Can never go wrong with a knight on a3. What am I playing with black? But Sensei doesn't normally play d4. This is new. This is new. Oh, yeah, somewhere I saw a video. Knight c6, dubious? Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, okay. So what happened to the what happened to b three? I lost to um, Yumare, the Hungarian grandmaster, in this Tory attack a couple years ago. Bala Yumare. Very strong rapid player. We okay, he didn't play h4. h4 looks dubious. Arsenal fans gonna like this position. It feels like I'm playing the Chigorin now. I don't I don't I don't know about h4. It's also kind of like a Slav, reverse Slav. Yeah, well, this is interesting, right? Somebody did a lecture on, on the site that I, that I do, do videos on, chesslecture.com, uh, criticizing d4, knight f6, bishop g5, knight, knight c6, like a two knights tango. They're like the I don't remember the adjective they used to describe it as like I thought like come on how can that be so bad I wouldn't use like a really bad adjective to describe that bishop g5 audacious I don't know you know like bishop bishop g5 the Trumpowski is is kind of like audacious how bad can like knight c6 be I was thinking like that's ridiculous Sometimes people tend to analyze games with this sort of... The conclusion is, is only because of the result of the game or whatever. You know, so White ended up winning a great game. But honestly, how bad can Bishop G5, Knight C6 be? And then they're like, D5 is better for White. Okay, I mean, you know, it's a little bit like, like the... Let's see. Reminds me of some lines of the Dutch. Black and play knight c6. In the Dutch, though, you'd have knight d5, knight e5, knight f7. Yeah, dogmatic. It, and surprisingly, it wasn't a Perlstein video. I think knight c6 should be, like, playable against Trompowski, and I certainly wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't hammer it as, like, a bad move or something. How bad can it be? The bishop on g5 is weird, you know? What's the bishop doing on g5? Like, that's... So white makes a weird move, and now you make a bad, a weird move, and, and that's, that's like a sin or something? I think the whole Trumpowski is kind of dubious, to be honest, but... Okay, it's gone out of fashion. If you really want to get down to brass tacks, I think that the Trompowski isn't great, you know. You know, it's good enough for equal, but I mean, you're basically, you're not going to get an advantage if Black knows what they're doing. You could argue Bishop G5 is incorrect, theoretically. Yeah, I thought knight g6 was a really creative idea. I had never seen anyone play that before. All right, bishop d3. I don't know, I, I like my position. Do your worst. 
You have something here like c4. This bishop is, is horrid. On h2. Slav story. He took. And no queen exchange. The plan is f5. This looks dubious for white. Extremely so. I have zero interest on, the, on h4. I don't know, you know. That's that's not even like capturable in my world. If I had more time, I would consider it, but I don't want to open lines against my own king. So we're looking at like f4. I thought he would trade queens. Positionally, bishop takes e4 has to be bad. You're trading off for your good bishop. And your other bishop is bad. H4 is a cookie. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to play bishop g3, and he doesn't want to play, like, g3. So this is a pretty awkward situation. How about ops color bishops? I love ops color bishop positions. Although if you if you prefer um, a different move, I don't blame you. If you prefer to keep the bishop pair, I don't blame you. But I think this position is is pretty fantastic. If you compare a bad bishop to bad bishop for black, my bad bishop has a lot more. bling than white's bad bishop. This looks horrific for white, to put it mildly. At least he's not losing his H pawn. Pre-move. That was a brutal pre-move. I'm gonna get my king to the center. One exchange of rooks is fine. If he plays, this has to be stopped. If he plays a4, I have bishop e2, or I could just ignore it. Let's say a4, king f7, a5, king e6, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn. He has no penetration on the A file. No A8, no A7, no A6. So I'm simply like chilling here. He loses to knight D2 on knight D2. Okay, this is a combative move. But it doesn't really change the overall scenario, except for one thing. He 
can play what like f4 which is horrifying obviously okay bishop e2 rook takes rook takes but i think i should centralize my king Oh, that's a good idea. So he has to watch it. Now he has knight uh, ninety two. Ninety two bishop b five. A four. I could play knight a5. Might actually be a very good move on knight d2. Mm -hmm. Shift. Wow. Didn't take him long to make that decision. And rook d3. I have e4, but that's a bad move. You will exchange rooks. You will exchange rooks now. Yeah, the f4 makes his bishop good. <laughs> For f4, he has a little price to pay. Make your bishops great again. I'm good as long as people aren't playing for like caveman like mating attacks with h5, knight g4, queen h4. Ooh, Schumacher is here. Shaki's here. Very good resignation. Yeah, I mean, this was a bad game. Where did this position become lost? It's already bad after h4. But it's a good question, like, where was he lost? Yeah, they wanted to take the cookie. The computer wants to take the cookie. Yeah, anyway. All right, let's go on. Shoot my care. Not, not a good Trump Husky. Bling, bling. Cold gold. Oh, cold gold is back with a new follow. Old. Is this the old cold gold? Or new cold gold? Have you been banned before? Our lawyers can get you off the hook. Call us 24-7. Get your Lee Chess account unbanned. All right. Our lawyers are standing by 24-7. Well, I think that Schumacher is Schumacher. I think Stensig is trying to learn a new opening. No, Dr. Chipchance, I can't see your messages. Have you been a victim of a cheater? Have you been a victim of cheating? Our team can get you compensation. Yeah, that was the first one we saw, that's true. That guy, the guy that came and said he won the Rapid Arena, the Weekly Rapid Arena, I guess he didn't have too many King and Pawn in games in the Weekly Rapid Arena.
One eight hundred Yusupov. See, this is a mistake. I think that Black should play c5 first, and then try to play knight c6. Otherwise, it's hard to get my knight off of e5. Well, Kranich being banned, that would be awesome. Author. Are you an author or an owner, or both? <sighs> proud, proud owner of, of eight puppies. Hmm. I was thinking about queen h5. Probably not a good move here. So if I take and play bishop c4, uh-huh. How much, you know, high-powered lawyer did, did Hans have when he fought off Magnus and, and brought this, like, suit against everybody? I, I would be curious to know, like, who's, like, representing him, by the way? Really? So the bottom line is it just wasn't worth it, even against, all right. G4, no. This is a weird position. It's like shadow boxing. It's another battle of the bad bishops. I'm better than you, no. Damn, you wanna um you wanna put your knight on G4? No, I'm better than you. Ooh, I have Bishop H4. Is Bishop H4 even a good move? Where are you putting your queen, for example? I like my game. Who stone wall is stonier? But for me, like this, this is an interesting comparison, right? Yeah, you should take on f6 from the beginning. Well, that's... Dude, one of the main lines is just taking on f6. But if you do play what you played, like... Balagimre played against me. I mean, I guess the thing is, uh, do I really want to do g4? What exactly are you doing here? Are you going to, like, put your queen on c7 or something? I don't understand what black's plan is, really. Where am I going to put my knight? Knight issues. Yeah, this is a weird position.
definitely giving. Oh no, Arsenal's gonna play knight takes g4. <laughs> no, no, no h5, and they take g4 here. I was terrified he had F6 there. Are you serious? You have F6? Is my F4 pawn falling? Okay, I can take on D7. All right, all right. I'm freaking out for nothing. All right. Okay, okay. He didn't have F6 necessarily. It wasn't that great. My only point is, like, if Hans had good lawyers, like, where would... I know that he's, like, wealthy, you know, but he's not that wealthy. I mean, his parents aren't, like, billionaires or something. He's getting wealthier, but, uh... It's not like... Was it just some ambulance-chasing lawyers that smelled money or something, like, would defend him? Concentrate. I know. Stop talking about that, Dr. Chipchance. Stop distracting me. Dude, I mean, this is looking pretty good. 100% pawnage. Yeah, stop distract stop distracting me. I'm gonna pre move here. Ooh. Rook C four. I'm shaking in my boots. Yes, Queen takes E five. It's like Arsenal fan junior. Knight C5. Uber tactic. Knight C5, Queen D5. And sadly, Rook D8 fails to Queen takes F7 check. The not so bad bishop on E1. Outlived its counterpart on b7. Sold his life for a knight. There's so much... So many examples of games where the game is really decided by the respective bad bishops. My bishop on e1 is a monster. Oh, oh no... So rook c2, what does that do? Destroys you. We don't call it that here. <laughs> irregular. They're, most of the viewers are very irregular. And we, and we, um, we prescribe special medication for that. That's not his first comment. That's his second account or whatever. Is that a new account? We prefer not to use the terminology destroy. Massage. Any viewer who regularly massages, massages you. I like how he found Arsenal fans' idea. 
But it doesn't even work, right? Does it even come close to working? Oh, thanks. Thanks for unfollowing. You weren't banned by any chance. There's literally 17,552 1400 from Kolkata and pretty much every other Indian city. All right, queen takes h3. But no, we remember you. I remember you. Arsenal fan wasn't here, I guess. Um, all right, Arjun Chess Invader. Arjun Dawn. Arjun Chess Invader. Eh. Shaki, Clockwork Gambit. Looks 053, oh, wrong time control. Barely enough games. And then pro meet. Oh my god. Alright. So we have half an hour left. Anyway, Shaki's definitely next. I don't think he had a saving move there, you know. Ars. There was no miracle cure. Players who destroy me regularly. Mr. Mr. Slow. Well, Simul. Simul's yes. Primarily in Simul's there are there are those players who do that. Someone on sound. He actually lost last time. Don't you don't think you have many viewers from India? Yeah, but even even you know, there's so many players from India. Like everyone has a lot of viewers from India, even if they don't have a lot. It's still relatively many. But the time zone isn't ideal for India. Yeah. I mean, my time my time slot isn't isn't the best for that. People from Asia, yeah, we don't have so many viewers from Asia. Um, what am I supposed to do? I like D6, it's cool. I guess. Do I? Yeah. This is Noah's Ark Trap. Dr. Chip Chance, you were Indian, right? He was Indian before he became Iranian. It's all, it's all the same. They're connected. They invented chess. Persia, India, same thing. He's from eastern part of Iran. It's the same thing. It's not that far. One of those countries with free thinkers. <laughs> Some are more free than others. Most of the ones in the, in Iran aren't free, Arsenal. They're like in jail right now. Depends on how you define free thinking. If you can if you can think freely from your jail cell, then then you're still a free thinker. In India, a little better chance. As long as you don't oppose like President Modi or whatever. As long as you're not like supporting the opposition. <laughs> you're okay. Um whatever you want as long as you're not opposed to the, the Prime Minister or whatever. Iran is not so liberal. All right. You um You're free to publish veterinary papers, I guess. 
anyway um all right guys thanks for watching at least i got slaughtered in one game today which which makes it you know obvious i'm not cheating right All right, so we take the bishop. Give me minor material gain. How do we use that bishop to gain a advantage, an advantage of some sort here? Arsenal's favorite pawn structure with, with c5. <laughs> Not the most fluid. Rook e8. I want to play f5, but it's kind of a pipe dream. h6, e4, sorry, d4, your other e4. Yeah, I'm going to play this. I'm going to forget about the pipe dream. You can play d4. Like, maybe my best move really is c5. You know, stopping d4 forever. I don't know. How bad was that e8? I mean, I'm, I'm anticipating, like, d4. From white. What am I going to do? f6? If he's going to open the position with like d4, I don't want to be playing knight e8. And though bishop g5 is much less worrisome. Uh, says the guy who crushed me with the, with the fishing pole attack. to do isolated pawn where Where would he get an isolated pawn from? I don't know what, what you mean. But what situation is an isolated pawn? D4 chop and F5. F5 with no pawn on E5. Knight E8, D4, E takes D4. Still don't get it. I don't understand where where where's the structure where I'm gonna get an isolated pawn or he's gonna get an isolated pawn. I don't see anybody getting an isolated pawn. Shaki's in like ultra boring mode. This would be enough to send Arsenal fan over the edge. From what we, we understand. The other day I went to play poker and this dude is like telling this new player, he's like, hey, this is Sledgy. He's a really good chess player. You know what, dude? Don't tell people I'm a really good chess player when a new player comes to a poker game. Do you need to do that? The guy's like, oh, uh, wow, I'll have to be really careful or something like that. It's like, shut up, man. That's like you're going out and you're married and, and your friend is like, oh man, 
He's got two wives. Don't tell people I'm a chess player. Tell people I'm... I'm a bricklayer or something. Please. Give away information about your friends. Any kind of information is valuable in a competitive setting. <clears throat> Look at those dark square weaknesses. What about like queen g5 versus queen g6? Well, queen g5, maybe white could. Speaking of isolated pawns. So are bishops better than knights? That's the question we're going to try to answer here. As always, the answer is it depends. You can barely afford a second wife. I can barely afford one. And these crazy, crazy Muslim people want like Sharia law and stuff. I can't afford multiple wives. You, if you form a caliphate, and like force Sharia law in the world or whatever. Forget about it, man. Just kidding. I know my jokes are in bad taste, but didn't insult anyone. Yeah, he's got f4. I feel an isolated pawn coming on. I found I found a way to get your isolated pawn. If he plays f4, I let him take on e5. Too much information, <laughs> Dr. Trichets. You better stick to veterinary papers before you get yourself in trouble. All right. Slaves. No, I mean, that's going a little bit too far. But I guess that's what they are coming down to in some cases. Okay, um, male slaves. Yeah, this, this topic is off limits. Um, E4, G4. E4, G4. It's infinitive, yeah. He means like to infinity. Like Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and beyond. That's what we're talking about. Number of of wives. <sighs> I don't know how to like get on these weird subjects. Yeah. Arsenal fan definitely oh you took it the rook. <coughs> Did not anticipate that. Uh, it's pretty equal. The knight's only slightly inferior to the bishop. Guys, I have time for one more game after this. I've got a challenge from Glockwork. Glockwork. Glockwork Gambit. That's funny, Arsenal. Oh my god. No. I 
I know, but I can fly. You feel sorry for that, that knight on h2, kind of. Man, I didn't even see my queen was hanging. I don't feel sorry for it anymore. I take it back. And I just traded for it. God, that's embarrassing. Oh. Oh no. Somebody call Sun Prism. <laughs> we need an Ed Gave specialist. Frankenstein. Now I'm turning into Sun Prism. I'm learning how to play passively in Rook innings. Rookie six is not good news. No, it's a draw. I'm turning into some prism. It's exactly like his last game. Oh, what? You made a mistake. Well, that's weird. go really wow okay this is unclear I have literally no idea what's going on The best endgame ever. He lost some time. I I don't know, man. I'm not sure I'm even winning in the final position. And I was probably lost at some point. Yeah, I was. I was actually lost. I was seriously 
Wow, he, he seriously outplayed me here. Okay, I mean, I was trying too hard to win rather than defending passively, but it looks like after this, king f2, it just, it just isn't possible to win here. a5 would have been the best move, clearly. No, a5 is the best move. He can't trade rooks, can he? So that's the point. There was a lot of bad moves in this ending. It should have been a draw. I mean, it was just a draw, really. <clears throat> okay. Okay. That's game. Actually, I gotta go, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I got a bunch of lessons. I thought I could play one more, but the game lasted too long. I gotta go. It was nice knowing you. A good end game, though. We can take a look for a minute. Not good, but instructive. You know. My whole game was like bishop versus knight, and then I like a lot of trade of queens. I'm a moron. The whole game, like, trading queens is dumb. And then I guess I have to trade bishop for knight, and then it's a draw. Rookie four, why can't he play pawn takes pawn? Like here. Wow. This is some kind of technical ending where he has double, double isolated pawns. Could be problematic. Once I played this, I'm just not... I got nothing. I thought you would play rook d3 and threaten to push a pawn. You went here. That's actually a mistake, but not a big deal. It's still a draw. Takes, takes. Now these pawns could be dangerous. And then my last chance is to play a5 at some moment. But now it's a draw. And now you can actually be better. And rook, at rook e1 is a mistake. Your king starts to get active or whatever. So then it's just a draw, and then it's like I went too far. Where did I go too far? Here. This is okay. B4 was a very good move. Still a draw. And wow, after A5, I'm like lost. Oh, Jesus. But I mean, it's almost impossible to find Rook F5. I mean, what's the point with Rook F5? I have G6. No. It's very hard to know that this is okay for me. Looks like I'm losing like Sun Prism against the Fawn. Yeah. I mean, this is scary, but my king can get back and blockade. So I'm okay. But I have a draw at max. And I tried to win with a5, and surprisingly, I'm just like lost here. Well, not, not really surprisingly. Till he went off with king f5. He's winning with king d5. And then it's a draw again. And so the final position, I'm actually winning after rook takes d7. Okay, guys, terrible endgame. That's what happens when you have no time. The game just goes to, to trash. Um, anyway, otherwise, good game. Um, all right, guys, we're going to be back for a simul on Sunday. Thanks, everyone. Great seeing you. Mr. Coffee, thanks for joining us. Nedog. Nice knowing you guys. Simul Sunday, don't forget. 6.30 p.m. CEST. All times are CEST. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.